And this would continue to happen around the world um, when I started touring. And here's the next story. I'm going to jump way into the future because I think this one's very interesting because it was shared by other band members. So it's these types of stories. You know, people can roll their eyes and I don't believe in that stuff. It's easier to tell a story when there are more than one people that were witness that can sort of vouch for it. So this would be 2011. My first um, time ever actually going to Europe to play shows. So prior to 2011, I had never been to Europe ever in my career. Um, you know, I left Killswitch before we were able to get over there with me. So it's my first time in Europe. Super excited. We're playing incredible shows. We're having the time of our lives. Is this with Kill Switch or is this Times of this Grace? Is, this is Times of Grace. Yeah, Times of Grace. And at the time, it was uh, our drummer, Dan, who played on the last record, Adam D., um, Joel, and uh, Matt Bashand, who was the guitar player for Shadows Fall. He's done a bunch of other stuff. He was on guitar and vocals as well. So all of these guys were on the bus. Um, I'm not quite. I think Dan, myself, and Adam... I know, actually, I don't think it was Adam. I think Dan, myself, and Matt might have shared the experience. I'm pretty sure Adam's really never had any sort of paranormal, paranormal stuff happen to him. But um, before I tell the incident, we were all having bad dreams, like weird bad dreams, all of us. So we'd wake up in the morning and everyone was like, what the hell? Like, again, this was happening night after night, like something weird is going on in this bus. And um, so European buses for, for tour buses for people who don't, know what that's like so european tour buses are different than american tour buses because the european tour buses have the sleeping area on a second floor so you open the door there's your front lounge there where you hang out you eat the driver or the driver's bedroom and then upstairs is another lounge area and then the sleeping quarters so you're up on the second floor so this all this stuff is happening on the second floor of this bus so um one night after these bad dreams and we're all kind of discussing how it's just weird vibes on the bus. Uh, I'm just about to fall asleep. We're on our way to Luxembourg for, I think a day off and then a show at this really small club in Luxembourg. Um, and it was my first time to Luxembourg, super excited. I've just like never been to Luxembourg. What's Luxembourg like? So we're on our way. I'm getting ready to just, just right at the edge of sleep. And I hear a child laugh a giggle and it sounds like it's got like reverb on it it's like a you know what they call disembodied voice and my curtain gets smacked so you know you have these curtains that you pull over the bunk and it was getting smacked by a, a little hand and i automatically like thought i was dreaming but then it kept happening i the noise would not stop so i pulled the curtain as quick as i could nothing nothing there right i'm like that's weird but I'm like, is somebody drunk? Is somebody playing tricks on me? So I stick my head out. I'm looking around. I'm looking around. And Dan, our drummer, sticks his head out. He's like, did you hear? I was like, yeah. It was like a kid laughing. He's like, dude. I was like, dude, I heard that too. So I was like, oh, this is nuts. So we kind of like, all right. You know, you, you sort of wrestle. When these things happen, you sort of have this moment of like, did that really happen? And then when you see somebody else experience it, it kind of makes it more real. But we eventually we're able to sort of like calm ourselves down and pull the things back and just try to sleep. We just got to get some sleep. It's already really late. We've been up, you know, hanging out late in the front lounge. As soon as I pull the curtain back, I hear laughter again. Then I hear what sounds like um, what I can only describe as like a parental voice scolding said child. <laughs> and that was it. I pulled the curtain over. Stop and looked, keeping the rock stars away. Yeah, just like, what the fuck is this? This is just crazy. 